The 1960s and 70s skinheads were a group of young working class youths who were influenced by Jamaican culture through the music. However, in the 80s, the culture was hijacked by the neo-Nazi movement, which has blurred lines intensely. So in your opinion or in your definition, what is a skinhead to you? Racist, bold, really aggressive. Is that how the you know, that outlook as well, sort of hard and kind of look? I'd probably want to cross the road. If you'd asked me maybe 10 years ago, when I was about 16, I would have thought, football factory, these guys, these guys are causing trouble. There's a lot of confusion out there. A lot of people think skinheads are racist, but they're not. You know, I was walking down my road one, like, a few years ago. I had just normal hair, I had a bob cut, and then as soon as I got the hair cut, you know, went going, oi, oi, you, you know, you're skinhead, you're this and you're that. And I said, no, mate, read up on it. My parents grew up, like, you know, with skinhead being a very negative thing. What they were exposed to was only what they read in the papers. Yeah. Which, you know, was never... I, mean, I, can't, I can't say it from personal experience, because it wasn't there, but, you know, that's what my parents tell me. The misperception of what skinhead culture fundamentally is and was being taken now for something that people just automatically assume is, is racist. How does that make you feel, and what do you think about it? Anyone who who says they're racist and they're a skinhead is just a total Idiot. hypocrite. You're listening to music by Jamaican people, by Caribbean people, but yet you still want to beat up the blacks and mm. it's, it's just ridiculous. Skinhead was always uh, like a working class culture. It was smart, it was uh, just charm, it was a love of the music. A lot of the music come from like the Jamaican, like the roots of reggae and that, and the scar eventually led on. These skinheads are the non-racist skinheads that are keeping the original skinhead movement alive, which was about integration, positive vibes and love of black music. This has attracted a lot of the young generation who are keeping it alive through DJing and organising events. What was it that actually, you know, kind of interested you to want to be part of the culture yourselves? Just the music, it's, there's nothing like it, is there? There's nothing else like it. Listening to the music was good, but seeing everyone dress so smart, I wanted to look like that as well, so it's, it's good. It's just that you look so smart, mm. even if you're just wearing a pair of jeans, you still look good. True. It is just the style. You are still quite young, but you know, the kind of um, style that you have taken inspiration from is one that is, you know, much older than yourself. What was it that got you into that style? It just really struck a chord with me. Proper like buzz in the air and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, uh, and uh, away I went, I was then a skinhead. You know, so many people from different cultures, different backgrounds came together uh, on a culture that was, you know, based on music that was from the Caribbean. You think the gigs are key to keeping the music alive? Yeah, okay. it's keeping it alive. And I know it's that you get a lot of young ones now, and they come in and they enjoy it, you know. And then next time you see them, they're coming, yeah. like the Harrington, yeah. they're, you know, they're in their proper clothing. Yeah. I think it's really amazing that you you are brave enough and also passionate enough to keep this going. And I hope that people are, um, you know, inspired to find out more about it. She was my